after what felt like a really long winter and a really long time without traveling, I was lucky enough to be able to go to Malacuta for a couple of nights with my amazing family to really just relax and, and unwind. And for those that don't know, Malacuta was quite heavily impacted by the bushfires. So it was a really good time to go there and support the local community and, and see what damage had been done and of course enjoy the most incredible beaches. It was just so peaceful, so beautiful and I really, really love being by the ocean, in case you didn't already know. I kicked it off by making my parents do an Instagram reel, which you can come to my Instagram and check it out because there'll be no music over the top of it, but bless their souls, it was so funny. <laughs> so good. We spent a lot of the time boating. My dad has a boat, so it was just so much fun to relax and unwind, just cruise around the lake. Um, you know, look at that. It's just so, so beautiful. And I think, you know, it's just so hard to even imagine what it would have been like here when the bushfires happened. But, you know, it's good to see that they're starting to come back to some form of normality and recover. But you know what? I love the boat life. I love the beach life. So it was just so good to get out and about. And I got a lot of clarity on this trip. I even drove the boat you know I've had my boat license fun fact for like two years and I have never driven a boat until now um so yeah that was that was interesting um isn't it funny boat license for two years never driven a boat my dad's always wanted me to go and drive the boat but I just never went anywhere with him um you know what I did all right it was fun I think for me, my favorite part was when we anchored and I could relax, read. We also did a lot of walks on this trip, um, a lot of exercise. This walk, actually, mum told me it'll only be an hour, an hour and a half later. I'm more of a beach walker type of girl. We definitely did that. Feet in the water, such a good feeling. I love connecting with the ocean. It's just brings so much calm to my life. Mum hates the water, as you can tell. Dad loves it. What we did do, though, is try to do a shortcut and cross the lake. <laughs> but it was uh, <laughs> a little bit too deep. So we had to find other methods. See, Mum not going near the water, not even a little bit. But um, we did manage to find a way where we could cross it. See, Mum had to get in the water eventually. So we could cross rather than going all the way around because apparently we didn't want to do it that way. But um, yeah, it was so much fun just exploring. We found some oysters stuck too hard to the rocks, but that was fine. And mum realized she probably should have taken her shoes off, even though they are waterproof. Probably not a great idea. She was very reluctant to get wet, so that is why she is now wringing out her socks. <laughs> but as you can see, some of the damage from the bushfires, it comes so close, it burnt houses down. Um, but, you know, it just goes to show how strong communities are and the ocean, look at it. It's just, it's still there. But yeah, it's just crazy, crazy. But I, I spent a lot of the time on my own, on the beach, just meditating. I did some journaling and I just like really took some downtime away from the business because obviously I've spent so much time on my business in lockdown and I just absolutely loved it. There was times where there was just not a soul on the beach and I really, really took that time to do a lot of reflecting and planning, which was amazing. And then, of course, being out on the lake was also a really good time to 
unwind and just take in nature's beauty, which it's interesting. We never, we never really do that that much. Um, cause we're always go, go, go. So it was beautiful and yep. Did some gratitude journaling, which was really good, especially when you're by the water. Cause there's so much to be grateful for. And I just love it because, you know, with Malakuta, it was just so many little different coves and beaches you could go to. And, you know, there was Rip, uh, Rip Beach, Baston Point. There was Secret Beach, which we couldn't go to because of the stairs. There's Quarry Beach, so many beaches. It was just so good. And I just pretty much spent the whole time in my bathers, as you could see. Loving it. Absolutely loving being in bathers. It's been way too long. Fun fact, had those bathers since I was 18. So, you know, shout out to Sea Folly. They really last. The funny thing about Malakuto is there's a lot of kangaroos as well. Like, a lot. Um, they're mainly on the golf course. But, you know, it's good to see that the fires didn't scare them away. Um, but they just hang out in the golf course all day. They just love life. Absolutely love it. We did spend a lot of our time eating and drinking. Daily coffees was a must. Shout out to Cafe 52, who provided delish, delish coffee. And yeah, lots of platters, dips, cheese, just so much food. It was actually my mum and dad's uh, 33rd wedding anniversary while we were there. So this was a little nice lunch for them, which was really beautiful. But yeah, I loved this beach, as you can tell. That's why I've got so much footage of it. I just love that, like, the mountains are so close and, like, oh, I just loved it. And there's, like, Gabo Island is out at that, where you can see that. It's apparently the furthest point in Victoria. There's a lighthouse there, so that's cool. But, yeah, as, as I said, you know, a lot of damage done to the area. Um, it was really fascinating to see the trees, you know, starting to grow back, you know. And it, it sort of reminded me of entrepreneurship when... You know, sometimes you have to burn things down and rebuild it and not in that sense, but that's why reflection's always so good. But uh, these trees don't reflect the rebuild, but there were a lot of trees that, of course, um, had a lot of growth on them. And as you can see, like the grass and everything's starting to grow back, which is really good. So, um, you know, it's such a, a good sign. But yeah, just the growth on the trees, like rejuvenating um, of nature and as you can see mum and dad knackered <laughs> they were buggered look at them too many reels too much walking but to be fair every time I go on holidays I'm always so so tired but as you can see I was one happy girl and yep the same beach again believe it or not is different footage <laughs> just just absolutely loved it the last night I did watch the sunset as well And to conclude, here is some amazing sounds of the ocean.